Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. At this moment in time, we find ourselves at a period of where all the talks, discussions, topic of conversation is about Football World Cup. Now, many people spend huge amounts of money, their savings, their earnings, to witness this spectacle. Whereas many other people, they spend valuable time in front of the television to watch their favorite team play. I would like to draw a comparison between the Football World Cup with a life as a Muslim. Being a footballer, you're, the game is ruled and governed by guidelines, which you have to strictly follow. If you fall out of the guidelines, then there are consequences, there are penalties, your team could lose. And just as a Muslim, we too have guidelines, we too have, have uh, rules that we have to follow. And these are the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are boundaries that Allah SWT has put through. And if we cross these boundaries, then there are also consequences. Being a footballer, you, you have to be mindful about the linesman on either flank, one on the right, one on the left. Always watching if you step one foot beyond the uh, line, you'll be counted as offside. And these people will watch every movement of yours. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put two angels, Karam and Katibin, on either of your shoulders, on your right and your left, who will write down all the deeds that you do. And if you fill one foot out of place, the angel on your left will write that down. If you do something good, the angel on your right will write something good down. And also, that a player will try the best not to handle the ball inside the penalty area, just in case they uh, give away a penalty. Again, resulting in the team losing in them um, failing to win this football match. So, likewise, as a Muslim, we should also be mindful where our hands go, what we touch, what we put. Because there are restrictions and things that Allah SWT has forbidden for our hands to be put into. We go out to be like these football stars, be like Ronaldo, to be like Messi, to dress like them, to have their haircuts like them, to have a Balotelli. Now, what do we have to show that we follow the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to show that we are Muslims. Where's our identity there? We spend money on shirts uh, to show our loyalty to this football team. But where's our loyalty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Messenger Prophet Muhammad The referee will issue yellow cards as a warning to the player. You fall foul one more time and then the next card will be a red. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us warnings every day. Let it be a member of the family passing by. Let it be a financial difficulty, any trial, tribulations, any hardships. These are warnings to us that our life could come to an end and we will have to answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after one warning, you'll always get a second, you'll get a third. You'll get a warning throughout your entire life. Will you be ever shown the red card? The red card is when the moment of death comes, when you pass away. And in a football match, you have 90 minutes to make the most of the game, to score as many goals and not to concede aid as much. And this is how you become successful. But as a Muslim, as a life as a Muslim, our life is not uh, fixed. We do not know if we live for five years, 10 years, 20, 50, even 100 years. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us every opportunity at a time. In football, this extra time, and you're given an extra three or four minutes, it may go into this extra time with two halves or 15 minutes. And if there's a winner not decided, then there will be penalties. But as a Muslim, we, we need to strive to do our best, and we do not know when a time will come, when there will not be an extra time. When you request, oh Allah, give me this one extra minute, give me an extra a second so I can recite the kalima. You may not be given this opportunity. So make the most of now. When, a, a opposition, uh, when you concede a free kick, what does the defenders do? They create this wall of defense in front of the uh, uh, ball. So, because the uh, opposition become a threat to the goal. And as Muslims, whenever we feel any threat to our deen, to our religion, we should too come together, put our differences to one side and stand together like a wall ball, and defend our religion. When a striker is in front of the goal and he takes a shot and he misses, we scream and we yell, we think he missed the sitter, he missed an open goal, he missed the opportunity to wrap up the game. How many opportunities are we given and we completely miss? 
we have the opportunity to give to charity, we have the opportunity to even smile, which would be a means of gaining reward. We have we miss our time when the kick off for Salah and we delay it as much. And when it comes to a football match, if the kickoff's at three PM, it's at three PM. Our opposition is Shaitan. And Shaitan will do his best to steer you away. Shaitan will do his best to defend and uh, uh, to prevent you from gaining your goals. And that's in the hereafter. Let's not strive to earn the Football World Cup. Let's strive to earn the cup that we take the sip from the river of Bokhtun by the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. And we can only achieve this to do this together, to unite together. Because remember, just the way each of these football players who are playing for the 32 teams who participate in the Football World Cup, they have been chosen. They have been chosen by the manager of that team, of that country. That they have been looked at. Are they uh, eligible to be popular to play? Are, are, are they the right players? Do they have the right skills? Do they have the uh, right tactics to become that footballer? Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looked at you numerous times and He chose you to become the Muslim to represent Islam. And that's the colors that we wear. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to strive forth and become successful not only in this world but also in the hereafter. Amen. لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله وآله والأحبة لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله عليه صلاة الله وآله والأحبة